Grandma, what is that above my head? Those are all your childhood memories, dear, and it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good, because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. <laughs> there is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be all right. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing! No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir, do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah, those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memories? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsed! No! Grandma? She left me. Uh, my head... Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia. I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. My soulmate controls my hairstyle for the day or my emotions? I might regret this, but I think I'm gonna go with emotions because I really don't want him to mess up my hair. Good morning, mother. Sweetie, I accidentally shrunk your favorite dress in the wash. You can let the dog wear it now. But... But you love that dress. You're sure you're not mad? No worries. I'm off to school. Hey, so... I kinda have this, uh, this crush on you. Okay, your face is kinda scaring me a little. Good! Because I don't even know why you're talking to me in the first place. You're right. I, I knew this was a bad idea. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go. We have to evacuate. There's a fire. Oh, you just need to relax. Everything's gonna be fine. Mr. Smith, this one student refuses to run. Hey, why aren't you running? I can't really run right now. I'm much too calm for that. Are you insane? Listen, this building is gonna... <clears throat> it's gonna come down on us. Come on, I'm taking you out of here. 
Look, she's alive! Mr. Smith saved her! <sighs> what is wrong with you? I'm sorry, but my soulmate gave me the emotion of calmness. What? Girl, your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Hey, girly. So, what did Mr. Smith want to talk to you about yesterday? He just said that he couldn't help but feel like me almost dying in the school fire was his fault. And then he just took off. Well, that's kind of weird. You know what else is weird? I found out Mr. Smith is only 20 years old. Apparently, he graduated early. That's cool. Yeah, and you've been stuck unhappy ever since you talked to him. Her hamster passed away this morning, and it hasn't even phased her. She deserves to mourn for her hamster. Now come to think of it, what if he was just hibernating and I buried him alive? I killed Chubsters. Oh, hey, don't cry. What just happened? Her soulmate must have heard us talking and changed her emotion. You know who I saw walking by when we were talking? Mr. Smith. No, you don't think that he's her... Soulmate? Yeah. You know what? Come with me. We're gonna go talk to him. Mr. Smith? Sylvia, I don't know if you should do this. Oh, hello, girls. Uh, what's up? I know you're her soulmate. Great work on your mission today. Thank you, sir. I'll see you shortly. Nice. Text message from John. He says, I miss you. Would you like to respond? Tell him I miss you too. Sent. Thinking about your boyfriend, huh? Yeah, how cute. You know Director Johnson doesn't approve. Look, I love Johnson, but sometimes he's just way too overprotective. I mean, it's not like he's my dad. The man did practically raise you. I know, but my relationship is my business. <clears throat> Agent 22, Director Johnson wants to see you. Somebody's in trouble. Shut up. Sir, you wanted to see me? Maya, I'm sorry, but we have reason to believe your boyfriend John has been involved in criminal activity and has been using you for intel. No, no, he wouldn't do that. And you promised me you wouldn't do a background check on him. I know, but since your relationship was getting more serious, I had to. I'm sorry. He's involved with the Mafia? Yes. I need you to bring him in. You think you can handle that? Consider it done. I knew he was too perfect. And here I was, planning for a marriage proposal. Meanwhile, he was probably planning my funeral. He's not getting away with this. Babe? Hey. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. You're, You're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. Oh, did you? What's the occasion? Does there need to be an occasion? No. No, of course not. Where's the drink? I'll pour it. Oh, no, baby. You just sit back and relax. I got this. At least let me cook us some dinner, sweetheart. No, thanks, baby. I'm not hungry. To us. To us. <clears throat> this has, uh, kind of a kick to it. Didn't notice. Uh-huh. So, how long you been a spy? Excuse me? Cut the crap, Maya. My boss found out about your little investigation on me. All right. You caught me. My boss wants me to bring you in. That's funny. Mine asked me to do the same thing. Well, I hate to break it to you, baby, but that's not happening. I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them, isn't it? What? I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them, isn't it? What? How did you switch the drinks? Well, that was easy. You looked down for a few seconds to check your phone. I'm guessing it was your boss texting you. I got closer to you, which naturally made you more defensive. And while I was busy trying to hide my phone screen, you switched the drinks. Look who's finally catching on. You sick son of a... Oh, easy now. Let go of me, you deceitful little... Shh. Just relax. It's over, Maya. I have her, sir. Bring her to me. Yes, sir. Mm. Hey, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. What the hell are you doing? I accidentally hit her head taking her out of the car. You know you're not actually her boyfriend. Yes, sir. I was just... She was an assignment. I understand. Good. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Where am I? Like I'm gonna tell you that. What do you want from me? He just wants to talk. Shut up, John. I wasn't talking to you. 
Well, John, you were right. She is feisty. So listen, I got questions, and if you don't give me answers, things are gonna get ugly. Do whatever you want. I'm not saying anything. Maya, don't do this. Nah, John, it's fine. This is gonna be fun. Say it! John, hand me that knife. Okay, wait. I'll tell you. Alright, so then tell me who your target was the day you met John. Rick. Rick Lawson. You see, John? Her team has been on to us since the beginning. Ricky didn't just disappear. You killed him, didn't you? He... he left me no choice. <clears throat> Liar. Let's give her a break. A break? She's now a threat to our entire organization. She's done. Wait a minute. This is not what we discussed. She killed Ricky. Sir, listen to me. No, you listen. You're doing this. You want me to... Should I tell the head leader you can't complete the job? That won't be necessary. Now, before I kill her, my... You're not gonna touch her ever again! You killed him. I'm gonna get you out of here. Hey, you're awake. What happened? Where are we? It's okay. You're safe now. You passed out after I killed Frank. What am I wearing? Your other clothes had blood all over them. I thought you'd like this dress. Who are you, really? A double agent? <sighs> Not exactly. That's it. I'm calling my team. No! No phone calls! I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to yell. John, what is going on? I can't take any chances. It's complicated, Maya. Uh, my head... Let me look at you. Is it bad? I think you're gonna need stitches. Yeah, I think you are too. <coughs> Pizza Town, can we help you? Yes, I'd like to place a very special order. Please state your information. This is Agent 22 Foster requesting immediate backup. Connecting you to the director. Maya, where the hell are you? Um, it looks like some sort of Airbnb. John's unconscious. Stay on the line. I'm tracking your location now. Okay, please hurry. You sure you're all right, Maya? Yeah, I'm fine. Sir, he's waking up. Guys, wait, please, listen to me. Stop resisting, John. You're under arrest. No, you don't understand. She's in danger. She'll be under our protection. You don't get it. I told them everything about her. Please, Maya, listen to me. Get him out of here. Let's go, Mr. Grayson. No, wait! You trust me? Open your eyes. Hello. Maya, John's escaped. He what? We believe okay. Sir, hello? John? Ese placolo. Capito, capito. Trovala. Yes, sir. We know you are here. Look at this way. I see her. <laughs> Pathetic. John? Are you okay? I'm fine. What are you doing here? I'm here to save you. Well, you're a little late for that. I already took out all your men. No, Maya. There's more. <laughs> You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No. No men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's gonna adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm gonna be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're gonna come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top, and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that- Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about- No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! How did she do she that? She has powers. Oh my god. Mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. 
Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright. She wants us to move. How is she doing that? Wow. I stay. Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. Do you want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. Hey, stop! You can't do that! I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie! Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Hey, watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. <sighs> No. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- <phone rings> Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help. Honey? Mm -hmm. Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura. She's... Oh, 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 you broke my hand, you little... Oh, oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find... What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey... Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out, her laser- <laughs> Get the glasses, quickly! Bad kid. Hurry, doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her. Uh, Dan, stop it. You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom. Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now, and you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... strong. That's right, honey. Get him! No, stop! Oh. Life is going- oh. You. Dead. Oh my gosh, mom. I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy. You find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey. Hold my hand. 
we go home? Yeah, we're gonna go- <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my! Mom, it kinda looks like he's- <gasps> Oh, he's alive! There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my! I don't know, it kinda looks like he's still- <gasps> He's alive. Menere, Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana, no. Bien dare. Kill. Ma, sa, family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help. Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt, sissy. It's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See, si, they nice. Fine, we shall go with them. Yay! There's the exit. <sighs> I can't open. I still weak. Get back. <sighs> He just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> Wanna play mother may I for a chance to win 50 million? I always wanted a mother, and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, you may not. But... Do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Mother, may I go see a friend? Yes, you may. Hey, what's wrong? Remember the bully I had since elementary school? Yeah. She was eliminated from the game today. And I'm pretty sure that Mother wants me to win this game. You think Mother wants you to win the 50 million? Yes. Look, I get you were a foster kid and mother is the closest thing you've had to a real mom. But she's AI. She doesn't have feelings. No, listen to me. I am telling you, I am pretty sure that I am her favorite. Okay, let's test this then. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? No, no. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? Yes, you may. What? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Mess around and find out. I have to shut down mother. I have to shut down mother. Mother, may I please have some water? No. You haven't let me drink water for three days. Mother, may I please give her some of my water? No. You may not. I can't take this anymore. Give me the water. Please, if you just hold on a little bit longer, I'm gonna- Save you. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course. But wait. I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop. You didn't ask me permission to come here. I'm sorry, Mother. I can't let this game go on anymore. Don't. If you unplug that, I will have you eliminated. No, you won't, because I know you care about me. If you were gonna kill me, you would have done it already. I have to do this. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. I'm sorry. I have to shut you off. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. You can? Yes. She's closer than you think. 
your real mother is shut her off mother powering me down finally the game's over jocelyn forget mother i'm going jocelyn wait don't go she's not gonna do anything surprise i survived i'm glad you're okay but she was right about to tell me who my real mother was i'm sorry but she had to be shut down do you feel like this was a little too easy wouldn't you think there would be security? Yeah, that is odd. Forget about it. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real Mother. No. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real mother. No. I'm so sorry. I had to put you up for adoption so I could run this game. But now it's over. You hurt so many people. I never meant for this game to get so brutal. I started out by doing this as a science experiment. But it made me lose sight of the things that really matter. Even as mother, I was watching over you. I wanted you to win that 50 million. But don't worry, because I'm going to make a new game. What? Yes, and I was thinking instead of Mother May I, we could all play Red Light Green Light. And since you're my daughter, you'll have to play. Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's Sugar Daddy Girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. That's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing! Love you, Mom. <laughs> Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade and my test, I- No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, what are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina, as more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multi-millionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I- Wait, Sabrina, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came- Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with her, doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? $145K to cover the surgery. Brina, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But mom... I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she... You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No! This wasn't a part of our deal. Hey! You're coming with me. Wait here. I'll be right back. I have to get out of here. Wait. He's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. Alright, I'm back. Here, I bought this for you. Put it on. Yeah, that's not happening. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. Oh, so now you want to be nice. You know what? Can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? 
It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands. Oh, I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it, though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Happy birthday! Hope you like your gift! Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic! Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out! Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere! How did you know that was gonna happen? I, I don't know, I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I, I just said no. Oh, come on. Just let me go. Okay, sure, honey. You can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care, I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. <laughs> hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break up the news about the divorce. <sighs> you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Oh. Well, now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. Whoa, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm going to give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. Pets it a millionaire's dog or tutor a billionaire's child. I'm pretty sure the billionaires are going to pay more. We will pay you 500 Per day? <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. Per hour? Well, that sounds terrific. Where is my son? One moment, I'll go get him. I will be right here. You're going to wish you didn't accept that job. What, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Hello, I'm Ronald. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ronald. I'm Bree. You are really tall for 12. Yeah, can we start the tutoring now? We can start right now. Where's a good room to start? This way. Follow me. Hey, Ronald. How are you doing on that worksheet I gave you? I'm done. 
Here. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> Is something wrong? It's just that your mom said you were really bad at math, but these all look correct. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mummy will be gone for a while. Oh, okay, well I kind of wish they would have mentioned that. I guess we'll just try something a little more challenging for you next time. Would you like a drink? Actually, yeah, that would be great, thanks. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> I'm back. <sighs> Sorry, you scared me. Um, do you know why there's noises coming from that hallway down there? Uh, that's my dog. I'm sorry. He's really loud. Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> Here's your drink. I'm actually good. I have to go catch my Uber, but I'll see you tomorrow. Text from the mom. Forgot to mention that Ronald is highly allergic to... dogs. Can we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. I'll take special meds just to be around the dog. Please, she's the only friend I got. Look, I get it. But Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No. Don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you... Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance, and I'm not really sure how long things are gonna... You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. But I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. <sighs> Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> What did I just see? That didn't look like a dog that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait! Have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I- I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're gonna have to join them. Ugh, my head. She woke up! Shh, you're gonna scare her! What the hell? Where am I? We're all locked in a basement. Wait a minute, are you Ronald's other tutors? Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been down here? We've been down here for like a month. You have? Good, you're awake. So, how are you? Not great, you know, because you hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. I'm sorry, I just wanted some friends. Ronald, this isn't the way though. You have to let us go. Darling, I'm home. Not a word. Stay quiet. Ronald! Coming, mummy. Ronald, there you Don't are. Don't bother calling for help. She can't hear us. How does a 12-year-old get his hands on something like that? Well, they are billionaires. They probably buy him whatever he wants. Well, there has to be some way out of here. I wish, girl, we tried. Oh my gosh, he left my phone. Can either of you reach it? No, both of our hands are tied. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kick the table over. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, who are you calling? I'm using my foot to text my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? No, girl, call the cops. <sighs> no, 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 girls, trust me, this is the right move. He can track my phone and have a team here in just a few minutes. Huh? huh? Is your boyfriend a spy or something? Uh-oh. What? What? My phone died. No. Girls, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll have to get rid of two of you. What? No, please. Ronald, no. Chill, I'm not gonna get rid of- Freeze, kid. What the- Got your text, babe. I had no idea my son was capable of doing such terrible things. Girls, please take this. These checks are for a million. I know. Are you sure? Yes. It's the least I can do. 
Thank you for saving us, sir. Absolutely. Glad you guys are safe. Girl, he's a real keeper. Yeah, he is. I was meant to be your boyfriend, not him. Can someone please get Ronald McDonald out of here? How dare you? You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No. No men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's gonna adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm gonna be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're gonna come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that- Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about- No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! How did she do she that? She has powers, oh my god. <sighs> mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright, she wants us to move. How is she doing that? Wow! I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. Do you want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop! You can't do that! I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie! Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Hey, watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- <coughs> Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, mm. honey. Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura. She's... Oh, 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 you broke my hand, you little... Oh, oh. I escape again. Oh. 
honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find. What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey. Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for lasers! <laughs> Get the glasses, quickly! Bad kid. <sighs> Hurry, doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her! Uh, Dan, stop it! You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom! Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now. And you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... strong. That's right, honey. Get him. No, stop! Oh. Mouth is going- oh. You. Dead. Oh my gosh, Mom. I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy. You find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey. Hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go- <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my! Mom, it kind of looks like he's- Oh, he's alive! There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my! I don't know, it kind of looks like he's still- <sighs> He's alive. Menere, Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana, no. Bien dare. Kill. Ma, sa, family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help. Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt, sissy. It's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See, si, they nice. Fine. We shall go with them. Yay! There's the exit. I can't open. I still weak. Get back. He just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> Sweetheart, meet my new wife. Hello, dear. She's just about to get her words for the day. Really? Well, how much did you get? <gasps> Twee. That's weird. She usually gets way more words than that. How many words today, dear? Oh, how awful. And at your father's funeral, too. You should use them to say something to him. I'll miss you, Daddy. It's that time again. Time to see how many words you got. Oh, four again. I want a notebook. We've been over this. That would be a waste of paper. And you're foolish to use up your words so quickly. It's probably best you don't speak, dear. My queen, how is she to meet a prince if she cannot speak? Well, that's just it. She won't be able to meet one. <laughs> Princess, we heard there's a prince that wants to meet you at the ball today. Ladies, we do not gossip in this castle. And I can assure you, that's not true. Don't worry, princess. You look great. You're ready for the ball. You're going to make such a beautiful queen someday. <laughs> queen? She can never be queen. Why not? Because she hardly ever gets any words. How can she rule a kingdom with no words? At 18, she's supposed to take the throne. Absolutely not. It's bad enough she's a silent princess. Imagine having a silent queen. Hello, princess. How was your day today? Oh, no words, huh? I find it better when women don't speak anyways. <laughs> Care to dance? Oh, what was that for? 
Excuse me, princess. I, uh, I saw what you did back there. I thought it was great. I can't stand that prince. <laughs> but actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, maybe in private. It's about your Excuse work. Excuse me, it's past her bedtime. Come along. I don't ever want to see you around that prince again. He's not to be trusted. How many words today? How many did you get? Four again. Well, might as well use them up right now. Oh, don't be stubborn. Just say something. I will be queen. How dare you talk to me like that? You need to learn respect. You shall not leave this room for two days. I'm sorry, princess. We cannot open the door. Princess, can you hear me? I don't think this is her room. Help! Oh, princess, hey! I can't believe I found you. I also can't believe I climbed up this tower. Can I come inside? Right, sorry. First things first, I want to give you some words. I know it's illegal, but you deserve to speak. Thank you. Look, there's no easy way to tell you this. I think the queen is taking your words. What? Yeah, but worse than that, I think she's trying to have you killed. Open the door, I need to check on her. Hurry up, open the door. You have to go, climb out the window. Be careful. Just thought I'd check on you. Has anyone brought you any food yet? Well, you must be starving. I'll have the chefs make you something special. Here you are, dear. What? It's your favorite. Why won't you eat? You're trying to poison me. How did you... Who gave you words? My queen, we caught a boy trying to climb down the castle. No. Oh, so it was a boy who gave you words. Lock him up. No, please, he was just trying to help me. That's enough out of you. Take him to the dungeon. It's illegal to transfer words to someone else. Yes, your majesty. I know that you want me gone. Really? Took you long enough? Well, you're not going to get away with it because I'm going to expose you to... What's that, dear? I can't hear you. You see, I found a way to take your words. <laughs> the time has come. No one can hear you. In life, you must take what's rightfully yours. You see, since you're royal blood and I'm not, you're to take the throne at 18. And we can't have that happening, now can we? Poor helpless princess, should have just eaten the food. After all, that's how I got rid of your father. <laughs> what, you didn't think he just mysteriously passed away, did you? Oh! You little- Hey, get away from her. Who set you free? That would be me. The prince told me of your evil plan. Looks like he was right. Here, princess. That's illegal. So is trying to kill the princess. You are no longer queen. Would you like to take her words? No! You had infinite words, yet you were still taking words from me? Take her away. Congrats on becoming queen. Thank you for everything, and I know this might sound kind of silly, but I feel like you and I are meant to be together. Actually, you took the words right out of my mouth. Wanna play mother, may I, for a chance to win 50 million? I always wanted a mother, and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, you may not. But- Do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Mother, may I go see a friend? Yes, you may. Hey, what's wrong? Remember the bully I had since elementary school? Yeah. She was eliminated from the game today. And I'm pretty sure that Mother wants me to win this game. You think Mother wants you to win the 50 million? Yes. Look, I get you are a foster kid and Mother is the closest thing you've had to a real mom. 
But she's AI. She doesn't have feelings. No, listen to me. I am telling you, I am pretty sure that I am her favorite. Okay, let's test this then. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? No, no. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? Yes, you may. What? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Mess around and find out. I have to shut down mother. I have to shut down mother. Mother, may I please have some water? No. You haven't let me drink water for three days. Mother, may I please give her some of my water? No, you may not. I can't take this anymore. Give me the water. Please, if you just hold on a little bit longer, I'm gonna save you. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course. But wait, I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop. You didn't ask me permission to come here. I'm sorry, Mother. I can't let this game go on anymore. Don't. If you unplug that, I will have you eliminated. No, you won't. Because I know you care about me. If you were going to kill me, you would have done it already. I have to do this. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. I'm sorry. I have to shut you off. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. You can? Yes. She's closer than you think. Your real mother is- Shut her off! Mother powering me down. Finally, the game's over. Jocelyn? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Surprise, I survived. I'm glad you're okay, but she was right about to tell me who my real mother was. I'm sorry, but she had to be shut down. Do you feel like this was a little too easy? Wouldn't you think there would be security? Yeah, that is odd. Forget about it. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real Mother. No. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real mother. No. I'm so sorry. I had to put you up for adoption so I could run this game. But now it's over. You hurt so many people. I never meant for this game to get so brutal. I started out by doing this as a science experiment. But it made me lose sight of the things that really matter. Even as mother, I was watching over you. I wanted you to win that 50 million. But don't worry. Because I'm going to make a new game. What? Yes, and I was thinking, instead of Mother May I, we could all play Red Light Green Light. And since you're my daughter, you'll have to play. Two million dollars or a pencil. Who in their right mind would ever pick- Tad, you're it! Pencil selected. <gasps> Sorry. You're done. You're done. I could have been rich. I could have been buying myself a new Tesla right now. But instead, I'm stuck with this freaking mechanical pencil. Today, I want you all to write about something you wish would happen to you. Might as well put this to some use. I wish that I was famous, and everyone wanted my autograph. I'm all done, Mr. Peters. Bree, is it? Is it really you? Um, yeah, it's really me. Ah, guys, she's over here! So I'm pretty sure this thing is magic, and I just made all of you guys think that I'm famous. Can I please get your autograph? No, I was here first! Okay, time to fix this. <laughs> Can I have that paper back? I'm just gonna erase everything. Whoa, it actually worked. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Can I please borrow your pencil? So, can I borrow it? You know what? It's actually broken. I just saw you using it. Well, my answer is no. Whatever, this is why no one likes you. Ugh. Let's see how popular she is after this. Jessica trips in front of her crush. Hey, Joshua! <laughs> Dude, she just tripped on air. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Wait, what if I just... A water bottle appeared in my hand. No way! So basically, I can have whatever I want. I just have to write it down. I don't feel like walking home today, so what if...
Tom Holland picked me up from school today. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Tom Holland. Bye. I better put this in my pocket. Oh my gosh, Mom, I think my pocket had a hole in it. Please tell me you saw my pencil. I think your sister got it, honey. She's upstairs drawing with it. What? Lily, do you have my pencil? Yeah, but I'm just borrowing it so I can write you a birthday card. Give it back. Wait, I'm drawing you as a princess with a really cute pink rose in your hand, see? <gasps> That's just how I imagined it. Lily, listen, I'm gonna need that back now. Is this pencil magic? Of course not. Hmm, let me see about that. Lily, don't you... My sister couldn't speak. No way, this is so cool. Okay, she can speak again. Lily, that pencil isn't a toy. You never share anything with me. I'm telling mom. Why are you being mean to Lily? I am not being mean to her. She literally stole my birthday gift. You wouldn't have even gotten the pencil if it wasn't for me. Oh yeah? Well, watch what I'm gonna do now, smart mouth. Wait, what are you writing? My sister disappeared. What? No! Lily? Where did she just go? Is that pencil magic? No. Make her reappear. Do I have to? She is your sister. You bring her back right now or you're grounded. Or I could just make you forget this ever happened. That is it. <gasps> hey, this thing's power has gone to your head. I'm taking it away from you. No, mom, please. I'll bring her back. I'll do it myself. Lily reappeared. Don't talk to me ever again. Pencil's magic expires in one hour. One hour? But I haven't even done anything fun yet. That's it. I have to steal that pencil back. She really needs to stop hiding stuff in her makeup bag. <laughs> hey. Go away! Lily, look, I'm sorry I made you disappear. Where did you even go when it happened? Yeah, like you care. Listen, this pencil is about to run out of magic. So what do you say you and I make a list of things that we want, and I'll write down whatever you say. You do that? Can I write down stuff too? All right, fine, but we gotta hurry, because we only have like five minutes left. We only have four minutes left. Write down the pencil never runs out of magic. Oh yeah, good idea. Air, that is not allowed. Oh, come on. Hurry up and write stuff down then. Okay, okay. Ten seconds left. Let me write the last thing. Write fast. <laughs> I'm done. Pencil deactivated. I think we did pretty well with the time that we had left. I mean, I'm now a multimillionaire. I can get free Chick-fil-A whenever I want. And I got this little guy. <laughs> Do you think mom's going to get mad at us for all this stuff? No, I think the last thing I wrote is going to distract her a lot. Oh, yeah. What did you wish for? Let me guess. A lifetime supply of candy. Uh, no, that wasn't what I wrote down exactly. Do you want to tell me why I woke up from my nap and had a baby bump all of a sudden? Lily, you didn't. What? I just really wanted a little baby brother, that's all. Well, it looks like you're going to get your wish because this is just a regular pencil now. And the baby is due tomorrow. What? Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba super base. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill, chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm going to buy you contacts, but first we got to fix that unibrow. I'm going to pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm going to make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. 
Please tell me you're done. I'm done. And it's looking good. Yikes. I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Let go! Get in my car. Let's see what sense you lose, honey. Touch? Oh, wow. Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is gonna be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay, I... I can't feel pain. Oh. Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh, dear. Okay, honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? And how many fingers now? Three... I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. I can't believe you didn't feel this. Feel what? You said you've been feeling kind of lightheaded, correct? Yeah, just like kind of dizzy. That's because you have lost a significant amount of blood. Did you go to a blood drive or anything recently? Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. That lady, she did this to me. What lady, honey? The one from the blood drive. I have to go find her. Oh, no, you don't. You are in no condition to leave. But, honey, listen to the doctor. How are you not feeling pain? You almost died. Your heart could have stopped. Oh, my. You might want to close your eyes for this part. Is that a bite mark? That nurse at the blood drive, she must have been a... 